everyone, welcome back to City Girl Living on a Budget. My name is Julia and I am going to be talking to you about my 401k today. I have an IRA too, but this is going to be about my 401k. This will eventually affect my IRA though. But um, basically I've always, well not when I first started, when I first signed up for my 401k, I had a very active attitude. I wanted to be active in the management. I wanted to manage it myself, but I learned I wasn't very good at it. So... The company I was at at the time, and it's still with that company, and I still have like an access to a scaled down version of their internet, so I can check the balance occasionally if I want to. But um, since I wasn't very good at it, I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna like let their management company take over the management of this, let make my contributions, and just let them handle it. So that's what I did, and that's what I did for the whole three and a half years I was there, and for the last year or two. Um, basically, I'm like, you guys just handle it. And I would check occasionally. When I left, it was at 30,000. I left in the spring of 2019. It was around 30,000 when I left. And it just kind of hundred, it just kind of hovered around there. I'm not contributing to it anymore because I no longer work there. Um, but it does hover around there. It did lose a few thousand dollars worth of value last March. It went down to like 26,000, I think. Um, but then it came back up to 30,000 by the summer. And that was the last time I really checked it. So again, I have a passive attitude. They sent me quarterly statements that I don't really open. I think I opened one of them in the last year, but it wasn't the most recent one. Just because I'm not counting on this for fire. My fire plan is to live off, is to make my, what was my side hustle into my full-time income, right? So like, you know, online reselling. So I'm not really worried about my 401k, where it's at. So I'm not going to rely on that money for income, any income at all. Um once I fire. So for me, it's, you know, like if it makes money, nice, but it's not like the end of the world if it doesn't, because I'm not going to rely, rely on income until, well, I don't plan on relying on, relying on it to really when I have to, right? When I can start taking it out of tax or not tax, free, but penalty free. Some of it's tax free. Some of it, I pay the taxes up front. Some of it I put in pre-tax. So it really just depends. I don't know how that works when I go to withdraw it. But um, at this point, I'm not, planning on relying on that money at all until I'm like 65. So, you know, I was just kind of like, let the, let the management company handle it. I'll sit back and relax. And like, that was it. But the reality is I shouldn't be like that. I should have more of a, I should have more of an active attitude for my investments in my, and not just, not just for my full one for my 401k, but my IRA as well. So my IRA is not managed. I set it up. It's Well, it was with USAA. They moved their investments arm over to Charles Schwab. So now it's with Charles Schwab. And I have logged in occasionally. I did buy some, like, I don't even know what I bought. Like, I bought them a year ago, and I let it sit. And, yeah, like, I need to get way more active in this. So I'm going to create, I guess I'll make this a series. I didn't even think about making it a series, but I guess it can be. Um, it's going to be about my investments and where I'm going. So last week, Christiana from Well Behaved Wallet asked me, so, th so this is how it all came up. Last week, Christiana from Well Behaved Wallet asked me where I was at. Um, she, asked, she asked me where my 401k was at. Because last time I talked to her about this was, I don't know when the, when the last time was, but whenever she asked me, I just say, it's, oh, it's around 30,000. 30, you know, I don't really check that much. It's around 30,000. And so I'm like... So after she asked me that, I'm like, gee, I got, like, I got curious. I'm like, it's been about a year, not quite a year since I last checked. Where is it? So I checked and my initial reaction was, whoa, it is at, or it was at, because this was last week, it was at $42,055 and some change. I logged in again today to check it again before I made this video and it's up another $450 about, I didn't actually do the math, but now it's up to $42,493 and some change. So I think that's about 440, 450 without doing any math. So Rebecca from Rebecca's Quest to Fire, I sent them, I basically told them that I was getting about 8% interest. I was just under 8% interest return. Um, and Rebecca from Rebecca's Quest to Fire told me that, you know, I should take over, I should think about taking it over because I could be making a lot more in interest than just this 8%. And so she's right. So I am going to take this over. I have no clue what I'm doing. So this will be an interesting 
I first had to figure out how to like stop the management company from managing my my account. Charles Schwab, it doesn't matter. I manage it myself, so I don't have to worry about like ending any relationship, management, company, whatever. That I just do myself. But I have to figure out how to take over my 401k investment again. So I've got to look at look at the fine print. But I've decided to do that, and I guess I will make this a series. I'll try to post videos twice a month about it, just so you can keep me, just so you can see where I'm at with that. And we can learn together because um, really this whole thing, I didn't really, yeah, I wasn't relying on this, on this income when I were to, to fire, you know, like this, this would be income that I would draw on when I'm 65. And then like, that would just kind of be it. Um, but yeah, Rebecca's right. I need to take this over. So I'm going to, and you guys are coming over going to come along with me for the ride and we will see where I'm at. I do, I do need to check Charles Schwab. I haven't checked that one either. Again, like I am so bad and Charles Schwab isn't even managed. Like I was managing that myself, so I don't even know where it's at. Um, but it should have around $600 in there. So it was 500 and then I had 150 in the second 401k. But then when they sent me the check, they charged $50 to, to cut a check. So it was a hundred bucks. They, they sent me a check for a hundred dollars. So it's around six hundred dollars, maybe a little bit more if it's earned anything. So I did have, I did have some of it invested in, I think relatively safe stuff. I can't even remember. Like I, I really need to get off my butt and do something about this. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, stay tuned to see where it goes from here. I have no idea at this point. I'm just starting this. All right. That's it. I don't have a video recommendation for you, so I will let the YouTube algorithm choose the best video for you. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.